you how to figure out who your web host provider is. Normally this is a pretty straightforward process. All we would have to do is look at the name servers your domain is currently using and I would say probably about 80% of the time that would be your web host provider also but that's not always the case but uh, let's just go through the beginning here. So the first thing you want to do is actually do what's called a who is search for your domain name. You can go a lot of places to do one of these searches. I'm just going to go to whois.ican.org. So once you're there, just go ahead and type in your domain name. So we'll use bestdomainregisterguy.com as an example here. You should get a printout that looks similar. Well, most of you will see a printout that looks similar to this here. This is just a raw Whois data, but it's the same information. You can see your name servers here too. But we'll just use the top section just because it looks nicer here. So yeah, so whoever's name servers you are going through, like I mentioned, is most likely your web host provider. But again, that's not always the case. Um, if it's not the case, what you'd want to do is you need to actually figure out how you're pointing to your web host provider. And the majority of the times, your web host provider asks you to point to uh, to their service through what's called an IP address. Um, actually, all of these three name servers would have that information or should have that information there. It's just a matter of us trying to figure out how to get that information. And we can do that through what's called a dig. Um, if you want to go to another website called cloth dot net k l o t h dot net what we can do here is run that dig command that I mentioned so just click on dig and then type in your domain name again so we'll use bestdomainregisterguy.com under the server what we want to do is if you go back to your who is search it's any one of these should do so we'll just use the nirvana.esdns.net in this case. And then the query is the different uh, record type that we're going to try and figure out an answer for. Uh, and like I mentioned, it's going to be an A record. Normally, anytime you're pointing your website through an IP address, it's an A record. So let's go ahead and just keep this as an A. And then just look it up. And you should get something looks similar to this. Um, don't freak out. All we're really doing here is asking a question like, hey, what is the IP address the bestdomainregisterguy.com is pointing to? And you can see it shows A here. And all we're really concerned about is the answer section. You'll notice it'll say 64682030. Some of you won't get an answer section at all. That usually means that A, either your DNS just isn't working properly. If that's the case, contact your DNS provider and see what's going on. And again, that's these guys here. So for bestdomainregisterguy.com, it's most likely going to be a company called EasyDNS. You can see that here. Um, if you do get an answer section, again, all we're concerned about is this here. So we just want to copy this and now we have to figure out who this IP address currently belongs to. So we want to do what's called a reverse IP lookup. Um, again, there's a bunch of websites you can do this on. We're just going to be using a site called ipchecking.com. So once you're there, just go ahead and type in that IP address and see what we get. Now this won't always point you to exactly where you need to go to but this is more of a tool to give you a rough idea and just some clues to who your web host provider is so in our case we can see that the web hosting seems to be being provided by a company called um, easyweb.com so like I said it won't always give you the direct answer because we're getting cpanel5.easyweb.com that's not exactly the company name but again you just kinda use common sense try to figure it out so, I mean, if we do a, I don't know, a lookup for easyweb.com there, just to see what we would get, you'll notice it actually does take you to an, a web hosting site. So, chances are this is probably the website uh, or web hosting site, I should say, that we're looking for. And then just, yeah, and then there you go. So, you know for sure that this would be your web host provider. And if you have any issues with your web hosting, just find the contact us and give them a shout and see what's going on from there.